audio soundbite was last night on Hannity. Ann Coulter uh, showed up. And uh, she was asked about the return of Sandra Fluck. You know, Fluck went out there, introduced Obama in uh, in Denver. Uh, as Obama is threatening women, that Romney's going to take you back to the 1950s. What does that mean, by the way? For, for women, what does going back to the 1950s mean? Is that what it means? You have to clean your house? No birth control pills. You can clean the house, wash the dishes, barefoot and pregnant. That's what that means. Got to cook for your husband and shut up and like us. That's what going back to the 50s. And so the, Obama is saying that's what Romney wants to do. And then while you finish all that, you got to take care of the horses. Okay. So Hannity said to uh, Ann Coulter, will the return of Sandra Fluck really score points with the voters for Obama? He is trying to get the stupid single women voters, which is the Democratic Party base. If Obamacare goes through and Obama is reelected, you are talking about the total destruction of wealth in America. It is the end of America as we know it. There will be no innovation. There will be no growth. Great, you'll get free contraception. You won't have to pay a $10 copay. But it will be the end of America. Think about that. Their base is not women. It is divorced, separated, single women. It's women who are looking at the government to be their husbands. That is the base of the Democratic Party. Please pay for my child care, my contraception, my housing, my food. It's women who don't have a man to provide for them, so they turn to the government. That's the Democratic Party's base. Congratulations. Can you imagine what would happen if I would say that? I I can't I can't say well she's already said it I can't, I can't say it I mean I could say it but it's not going to be the same thing as if I had originally said it but uh eh, well no it still wouldn't work because even even the lughead drive-bys would know that I'm simply reporting what somebody else said but if you could imagine if Ann Coulter had not said it and I came out and said you know what let me tell you something. The Democrat Party base, let me tell you who it really is. It's divorced, separated, single women. It's women who are looking for government to be their husbands because for whatever reason, they can't find a man to provide for them. That's the base of the Democrat. If I, if I or any man, not just me, if, if any guy had said that, See, Coulter can get away with it because she's a woman saying it. Coulter has also said that she thinks the problems with our welfare state, the entitlement state, started the minute women got the vote. Because women look to government to be their husbands. That's what the soccer mom thing was all about, by the way. You remember the soccer mom phenomenon? I We even said back then... That the whole illusion, the soccer mom thing, was that Bill Clinton loved these women more than their own worthless husbands. And then the soccer moms, that, that, that morphed into, uh, in, into something, uh, something else. But, uh, anyway, I just, when I, when I heard this, I went, what would happen if I, or any other guy, said something like this. And then I'm I'm also wondering how many women in this audience hearing Ann Coulter say that silently agree with her. Here's uh, here's Annette Tallahassee, Florida. You are up next on the EIB network. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I have a question. What would that be? In all of the years between this guy refusing the buyout and getting laid off and his wife passing away from cancer, did he not find a job? Apparently not. No, this is Romney's fault. But you know something I mentioned yesterday? Uh, I want to ask this question again. The guy didn't have health care, right? That's what he wants. It turns out his wife did. All this is a lie. But let's let's just for the sake of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, if his poor wife didn't have health care, if he didn't have health care, how the hell did she get diagnosed? Exactly. I mean, where did she go to get diagnosed? They, they, she thought she had pneumonia, sat around, didn't do anything for a while. 
But how did she get diagnosed if she didn't have health care? See, the point is, she had health care. Whether, whether they had insurance or not, they had health care. She got diagnosed. Now, what they did with that information, well, that's their business. But your question is right on the money. Six years went by. Did this guy not try to find another job? We don't know, because that's not part of the story. That that doesn't... I think he had a job, as I very recall... Um, he, uh, he he had a job making $24,000 a year. He could have qualified for Medicaid, is the point. He was a school janitor after the job. Yeah, that's what it was. School janitor after the steel mill uh, shut down, making twenty four grand. So he's instant qualifier for Medicaid. Hello. Are you still... Hello. You're, sorry, you're pondering that. I am, and this is during a good economy. And this is when there were plenty of jobs out there. I'm just wondering why, and she was not pre-existing condition at that point. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering why she didn't have health care. And she may have been ill, so I I don't don't know the circumstances. She did have health care for two years from her own job after he was laid off. She had health care for two years. She had health insurance for two years. After he got laid off, yes, this is what we have subsequently learned, and this whole thing is made. This this is this is if if I didn't know better, I said this is right out of Media Matters for America. This whole thing has been trumped up right out of David Brock's fertile imagination. Because this well, this 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 has too many similarities to all these other. A story that turned out to be totally fake, manufactured items that 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 had been created by the Democrats and their allies to uh, create media attention, raise money, whatever. But what the 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 impression left by the ad is wrong in every way. It is a lie every which way you slice it. But, of course, the the big thing is that, that, that Romney killed the guy's wife and didn't care. He wasn't even concerned. That's I don't doubt the guy's real, no. I don't doubt this guy is personally vicious. He's a union guy, for crying out. I don't doubt that he exists. I don't think... the, the I just think the, the, the whole way that his story has been presented strikes me as artificially manipulated, manufactured, created, and and put into the public square the same way all the bogus crap that comes out of Media Matters for America ends up there. And it, it always has ties back to Obama or high-ranking Democrats somewhere.